Hi, this is Melissa. And I'm Pam with ProjectNursery.com. And Melissa, we have Celebrity Nursery Scoop, Tori Spelling and Dean McDermott's latest nursery for Baby Fit. Baby Fit, it's gonna be fantastic. So we have to start off by saying there's some history with this nursery. Tori had a little bit of a dramatic and rough road with this pregnancy and she actually was on bed rest for over two and a half months. In the hospital. She didn't know it's if so she was tough. gonna deliver early so she was kind of under the gun to plan this nursery in time for baby. And Tori has such a great aesthetic, whether it's her parties, her cooking, and she, now her home yeah. decor. All of her nurseries I mean, are amazing. Well, I love them because they're so bold. You know, she's not afraid of color. She's definitely not afraid of color and this Baby Finn's nursery is no different. She chose a really wow color palette of turquoise orange with what she's calling Pops like a vintagey yellow. Yes, and it's fabulous. It, it works beautifully, and it all starts with the wallpaper. So let's take a look here at Temp Paper's Marrakesh Honey Jade wallpaper. Now, Temp Paper is it's genius. It's so genius, and especially in your rental environment, right. you know. What's so great about it is that it's temporary wallpaper. Right, you don't have to commit and feel like you can never change it. Tori had help though in the hospital. That's right, her longtime friends put up this wallpaper in Tori's hospital room to make it feel a little bit brighter. She said it was actually a bright spot um, during her time in the hospital. Exactly, so they brought it to her. And so think about this, she's on bed rest, she's planning the nursery. Uh, next thing she chooses is Bee baby. That's right, she chose their dresser because she used the pink version in Hattie's nursery. So she knew it was an amazing dresser, so she went with that in a bright orange. And then she found some mirrors in another part of her home that she put above that dresser. And they're kind of like a Hollywood Regency feel. We can't deny the theme of this nursery because on the it's dresser, all, giraffes. all over giraffes. She They're basically really scoured the internet exactly. for beautiful giraffe pieces. If you take a look at the pictures, specifically above the yellow bookshelf, uh, which we'll talk about in a second, but those pictures that she found, you know, she stocked Etsy.com for some great finds. Right. Uh, what's also really clever is just that pop of yellow she added. Again, she went bold. She found a rocker from Anthropology, and I think it was near and dear to her because the rocker is called Finn. I so. know. It, it was perfect. It was meant to be there. And she also used some Serena lily accents, a knit poof, some earthier elements in the room that I think give it some more personality. Exactly. Now, this bookshelf I mentioned in yellow, this is a DIY project, so she's not afraid to get her hands dirty or recycle, upcycle. She found a $5 bookcase. I love that, that she's super crafty. And so then she went with a duck duck crib and changer. You just cannot go wrong with Top that notch. Duck. And what I think is really cool, um, you know, Tori's not afraid of a flea market find or scouring the internet, so she found a big giant F on found.com, which has a little bit of a vintage vibe. And again, reaching out to families and friends, she had a friend handmade her a macrame mobile. So, uh, you know what, Tori, Fantastic. Congratulations on Congratulations. baby. Congratulations. We know it was a it was a long road, but it the nursery turned out beautiful. You can check out all the details and more on projectnursery.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch more great nurseries. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you. Hi, I'm Pam. And I'm Melissa with projectnursery.com. Now, Pam, admit it, you like to follow celebrities? Oh, guilty. I definitely pick up <laughs> a celebrity magazine and check out what they're wearing. I like right. to see their design style. Well now, because of the popularity of celebrity moms and their babies, I like to peek at their nurseries. And today we want to share a nursery that's inspired by a celebrity. So, the story behind this nursery, it was uh, designed by Shalina Smith Designs for a client in Texas uh, based around Tori Spelling's Nursery. Oh, and I knew it was Tori Spelling's Nursery. Like the second I looked at it, it's because of the wallpaper, which is really from Temp Paper, a temporary wallpaper solution, peel and stick, and it's a gorgeous, bright teal Moroccan design. It's certainly bold. This client wanted a glamorous Hollywood vintage feel. And she accomplished it. Now first with the wallpaper, but I love the crown chandelier. I think that is just a beautiful, elegant touch. And again, very Hollywood glam. The mirror dresser from Horchow. Now that's a wonderful piece. You can use anywhere in the home, but I it's love it. certainly it's, Hollywood glam. It's sophisticated, it's girly, it's feminine. And I also, um, some of those other uh, metallic accents, the side table and the crib was a budget find from Land of Nod. 
um, and the bedding is that girly uh, pink and white PK. Now, I just love that you can get design advice almost anywhere these days, and virtually is fantastic. So, Shalina does offer a virtual design service, so that's why she is based in Southern California, and her client was based in Texas. That's and it's, right. It's so, you easy. can get the celebrity look, the designer look, anywhere in the country um, through virtual design. Exactly. So, definitely check it out. Check out Shalina's website as well. And for more great celebrity inspired nurseries, we have them on projectnursery.com and room tours. So, please check back every week. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Melissa with ProjectNursery.com. I'm here today on day two of the nursery design event with Skip Hop. So we've been busy creating nurseries, making inspiration from our designers, bloggers, and celebrities come to life. So I am back with Sarah Crass, the Director of Marketing for Skip Hop. Hi. We had a great day too, didn't we? We had a busy day too. Busy day too. Now this is really exciting because we are in a celebrity design room, actress Tiffany Thiessen. Yes. This is everything that Tiffany wanted to decorate in a nursery if this is what she was doing tomorrow. Okay, so tell us about Tiffany's inspiration. Well, it's interesting actually because we had new bedding coming out and one of Tiffany's big things was she loved Ma Dot, oh, which is a classic, classic. <laughs> a classic for us at Skip Hop. And so we were really excited to have her choose that to see how that would look today versus when that came out a few years ago. So it was awesome. really nice for us. Awesome. And this room has a little bit more of a, uh, a boy vibe. Now, it does. Tiffany is a mom to Harper, a little girl, and I think it must have been exciting for her to design something with a little bit of blues. Yeah, I think she would, that was one of the things that she was excited to do because she already created a fantastic nursery for her daughter. Right. She kind of wanted to have this kind of imaginary playland that if she were uh, decorating a boy's nursery that she could put all these fun elements into it that maybe she didn't get to do um, with Harper. All right, great. Well, show with me what she picked. Let's start with the bedding, of course, her inspiration. Well, she picked Mod Dot, which is, again, a really classic for us and primary colors, really bright and happy feeling. Right. Again, with the complete sheet that has kind of a a very neutral um, top on it and then because we have no bumper in the complete sheet we have that right. side placard that actually has a complementary design that matches back to the original um, blanket which is great. Perfect and yeah you can have a lot of fun with these colors. The brown, the, there's gray, green, yes. red, blue. I mean there's nothing you can really pick what you like right. and pull out and really expand on that. Right. She did a really great job of knowing you know how to mix things. She picked a beautiful Jill McDonald um, piece of artwork to put on the wall. And I love the crib. The crib is beautiful. Isn't it? It's from Baby Leto. Yes. And it's fantastic. I think what's so great is that it's two-toned with the white and the wood. I think it's really nice for people to have that choice because especially if you're grabbing things from other areas of your home, you might have something that's white here, something that is oak here, and this is nice because you have no commitment. And there's also a little bit of a retro flair in this room. I was about to say right. when you said it's modern, at the same time right. it feels it, very retro to me. Yes. Much like the Mod Dot. And I think that um, as you look around the room and you look at some of the vintage pillows and fabrics that were chosen and a lot of kind of the, the metal containers and vessels that are are in the room too, you can see that it was really pulled from today and from yesterday and she did a wonderful job of that. And I want to talk about the rocker here because the rocker, the, this is from Nursery Works and this is one of my favorites just because of the extra space. It's nice and wide and it's great because both kids can fit on the rocker while you know, mom or dad reads the books. I think that's one of the reasons she picked it. And again, it's a nice dark color and it feels masculine. And I, I think with that, it ties into the brown and it's a nice kind of grounding feature for the room. And she did a great job with the wall decals that again, tie back to the original Mod Dot nursery and set. And you can't go wrong with dots. And again, it helps you because you can start to pull out a lot of different colors. So if you're at an estate sale or you're at the flea market and you see great fabric that you want to have made right. into a pillow, you can just pull out the turf, you can pull out the red, the green. So I think it's really neat. Fantastic. Uh, Tiffany did a great job. It's exciting to see a room uh, decorated by celebrity actress Tiffany Thiessen. Uh, for more great pictures of Tiffany's room, visit Project Nursery. We'll have all of the fantastic nurseries featured on the website. Also visit skiphop.com for more information. Hey guys, it's Melissa with ProjectNursery.com. I want to talk to you about the hot white nurseries we're seeing, as in Ivanka Trump's nursery. Okay, so 
So I don't have access to the nursery, but I did see it in Elle Decor's recent issue where she revealed a stunning white, elegant nursery. And it got me thinking, now we don't see the white nursery that often because, well, white isn't good with kids, but it can happen. And keeping a monochromatic, uh, neutral color palette can make a beautiful statement. And it is manageable. Just ask Susan, the founder of Nesting. Susan shares with us on Project Nursery a stunning nursery for her twins, Marie and Henry, and it's incredibly neutral. Susan paints the room a beautiful, soft taupe. Very calming, very relaxing. She then takes colors ranging from shades of white to ivory to beiges and just uses them throughout the room. My favorite part of this room has to be just this simple frame hanging above the changer. Absolutely gorgeous, Susan. Next in the room, I'd like to point out the closet. The doors are open here. It's incredibly organized, and that's just out of functionality, especially as a mom of twins. That is a key necessity to have in the nursery, an organized closet. Also, there's a darling little nook in the nursery where she showcases her books on shelves ranging from floor to ceiling. This room is just filled with vintage and heirloom quality. It uh, has a sense of calm and it's very tranquil. So congratulations on the twins on a beautiful nursery. If you wanna watch more nurseries here on Project Nursery, check out last week's episode. We're showcasing some beautiful nurseries just like Nesting Nursery here. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and like us on Facebook. Hope to see you next time. Thanks.